All right, in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Turtle Beach Velocity 1 package. Let's put it this way. We have the rudder, we have the throttle, and we also have the control yoke. Now, you might say, where is it? Well, we love this thing so much that we actually set it up into our own sim. We build an entire simulator around this thing. Uh, it's actually quite amazing. So let's get to it and see how good it is. So this device is available for both PC. As you can see here, we have it set up with a PC or with the Xbox. You can see the Xbox logo right here on the top. It is connected with a USB in the back of the computer. That's pretty straightforward. Now, it is made out of plastic. It feels plasticky, but you know what? It actually has a good feel when you grab it. It doesn't actually rub in the back of the control shaft right here like some other brands do. So I really appreciate uh, the, the construction here for this device. So this control yoke comes with something that we don't see in other controllers that are a bit cheaper. And that's gonna be the flight management display right here in the front. You'll be able to make some changes to the settings, changing the colors. You can tell we like blue and pink here. So we made it look pink on the controllers but also it comes with a status indicator panel that's in the back right here where you can customize some of the buttons and of course it comes with the control yoke right here also with this right here which has your throttle we designed it slightly differently in our uh, sim because we have the rest of the controls hidden behind this panel right here because we don't need them we don't fly uh, for this specific aircraft now you notice they usually come together you can put them together we have them separated it works fine just like it is you can also customize the buttons that are on top of the throttle here but we again have this hidden in the back here so you can't see it and not something that we use anyway because we have this whole beautiful suite right here of g1000 panels uh, available now as far as mounting this to your desk very simple it comes with two different legs that you can tighten using the uh, provided allen key the allen key actually hides back into the controller so you don't lose it uh, you can also use the suction cups that are provided if uh, you can put that on a desk now we did something different here with ours obviously uh, it's mounted inside of this panel so it's nice and firm and doesn't really move anywhere and then lastly on this controller you will see the a b x and y button which i think is coming from the uh, xbox world but these have a meaning and you can actually assign different values to these buttons to do different things inside of the microsoft flight sim as far as the control yoke other than turning all the way to the left and to the right at 90 degrees you will see a variety of different buttons at the top we'll get to those in a second the the feel in general is really good uh, this feels good in the hand you can actually i fly with one hand typically but you can easily control that it will reset to zero if you let it go that's also something that's really good even if you push in it comes back it's kind of spring loaded it doesn't have as much resistance as you would in an actual airplane but still it's a good way to simulate your uh your flying environment now as far as the status indicator panel in the back right here it is supposed to be a bit smart meaning that if you have any kind of emergencies in your aircraft these will change colors now unfortunately we have not been able to get the software to work correctly now you can see we are able to change the colors of it but that's as far as it goes i think we have an issue right now with windows it worked in the past but in recent uh, time we actually haven't been able to make that work to the left of the pov button we have b1 which allows us to actually change the view right here we can do an outside view now this is cool if you want to do videos or look kind of uh, at what the aircraft is doing i don't like flying the aircraft like this but from here i can show you what the hat button which is located underneath these two previous buttons and uh, we have it set up so that if you go down on that button it will change the flaps so the flaps will extend and then extend again and then if you go up on it then the flaps are actually going to retract so this is a, a great way to do it you can push back on b1 it will take you back inside the cockpit and then the hat button on the other side the hat 2 on the right side you can also customize it right now we don't have it uh, customized for anything on our side uh, so that's up to you to do whatever you want and then you have the B2 button opposite to the B1 on the other side. This will allow you to reset the cockpit up here and then go to a different view. Uh, not something that I use a whole lot because I like having just one specific view uh, set up for the aircraft. We have additional buttons behind the controller, which might be harder for you to see, but we have a left bumper and a left trigger and then a right bumper and a right trigger. Now that bumper on the left, uh, for us, we set it up to release the parking brake. So if I push on that, it's going to go. And then on the right side, it's going to allow you to change some system settings. Again, that's all customizable. And then we also, what we did is we use the left trigger to do the rudder. You can see the rudder is moving left and right. Uh, this is actually perfect. If you don't have the pedals, we have the pedals as 
as well. But uh, if you needed to uh, just do some demos, we actually sometimes use this rudder. Uh, it's uh, it's not an on off button. It actually has a little bit of travel. So you could put a little bit of rudder or a lot of rudder if you trigger all the way in. So this is a, a great uh, secondary setup if you don't want to mess with the pedals. Maybe you limit it in space uh, inside of your room where you have your sim. Now let's take a look at the flight management display right here on the control yoke in itself. This is where you can change some of the settings. Very quick access, you have an up and a down, you have a select and then you have a back. Now if you push on the up or the down, it's gonna bring that menu and then you have five different menu. You have input, you have profile, you have training, chronometer right here and then your settings. If you go to the input section, you'll find that you can change between the Xbox and the PC. I recommend you keep it on PC if you're using a PC because it works a lot better that way. And and then you can do the profiles right here. So you can set it up uh, if you were using the throttle right here that has the, the jet controls, then you would want to set it as a twin engine jet, for example. Uh, there's two different profiles. The default one is going to be your single engine propeller. This is what we're flying here most of the time. So we're going to keep it as it is. And then you'll also be able to do in the training section, you'll be able to kind of understand what the controller is doing as you move it to the left or to the right. So you can see what each of these controls uh, is assigned to here it tells you elevator and pitch so this is a neat little display right here with a lot of information uh, if you want to use this if you're doing IFR flying you can actually look at the local time or you can use it as a stopwatch if you want to pretty nifty and then lastly you'll have your settings where you're able to change the color of the LED so right here if I wanted to make this red or blue or purple whatever color you want you can throw the whole gamut and make it look uh, super customized to uh, your your set Setting. And then you can change the brightness as well. We have them on the brightest, uh, which is not too much in your face, but it's uh, just the right amount. And then from here, you can change the, the status of the panel that I'm looking back back here. I can press enter and I can set it to ambient so it looks pink like the rest of them. Or I can actually change them to be custom or to have them green when everything is working and then turning red when something goes bad. Like I said, this is something we haven't been able to set up. So we actually keep it as it is right here, ambient. And I think it looks pretty neat uh, in the background and then you can change the brightness as well of the SIP if you wanted to so yeah lots of uh, different things in here that you can do you have a firmware update as well if you needed to update the firmware you can do it directly from this function as far as the throttle quadrant, it is connected to the yoke base if you want to, but you can also remove it. Uh, it's got your black, your blue, and your red lever here for your mixture, your propeller, and your throttle control. But also it has the uh, levers that are going to be the four white levers that are going to be used if you're using more of a jet setup for larger aircraft. And then attached to it, you'll find a trim wheel. We have replaced the trim wheel in our case with a separate uh, device that we have put right here. It's just because we have customized our simulator in this case but it's a great option to have it all in one place. If you put that on the desk, it's going to look great because everything is going to look integrated. Now let's go ahead and talk about the pedals. This is an optional purchase. It's going to be in addition to buying the control yoke and the throttle quadrant. Uh, I have to say I've tested. This is my second pair of pedals. I really like these pedals a lot more. Now it has a lot of feedback. You can feel the pressure uh, when you push on these. It's going to want to come back to the center. It's a lot smoother. It doesn't feel like it doesn't feel cheap. It just feels like it's rolling kind of like it does in the airplane. Um, as far as the connection, very simple, straight USB to the back of your computer, and then it's gonna recognize them uh, rather quickly. And then you also have obviously the, the brake function at the top, so you can push on these brakes and then you'll be able to, uh, to control each of the sides, uh, each brake individually. So uh, I think that's probably one of the best value out there for these rudders compared to uh, what we saw from Logitech maybe, uh, that which I used for a while and was not a big fan of the feel of those. Also something great with these pedals is it comes with an additional set of springs so you can change the tension. Uh, if you feel like doing your workout right here on these pedals every day, you can do that by making them a little bit stronger. Uh, if you wanted to pretend you're flying a Piper Seminole and you're doing a lot of VMC practice, uh, that's going to be a great thing. That's going to definitely give you a good leg workout by doing that.